Good morning. How are you guys doing this morning? Good. Good? Okay, cool. We are going to play a game. Some of you may have never seen this game. Um, it was a game that was invented to torture the pastors long ago. <laughs> long, long ago. I don't think the dinosaurs were around then. Um, and it's called, um, well, we'll call it Stump the Pastor today. And within this box is something that I need to make a children's message out of. I have no idea what is in this box. Um, it's scary because, you know, I never know what's going to be in there. I know it's not a puppy because it's too small. So but I think we're okay with that. What the? A Toasty's peanut butter <laughs> cracker. Cheese crackers. Really? I know who did she this. Had that for really? Oh my goodness. She's the only one who had that for breakfast. She had that for breakfast. Oh wow. Good morning. Hi. Hi. Love you, Mom. I love you too. I mean, you had that for breakfast, right? Yes. Oh, is is that like gonna suffice you? I mean, are, are you gonna be hungry again ever? Yeah, you're gonna be hungry again. Yes. Oh my gosh, so then you gotta go back and have more crackers or have more food, right? Yes. Oh my gosh, you keep getting hungry and hungry and hungry, right? Doesn't stop, does it? Never That's stops. Well, have you ever been hungry for something and just nothing is gonna fit the bill? Yes. You, know, you stand there and you look in the refrigerator and you're like, oh, there is nothing in it. Like, mom, there's nothing to eat in the house and the refrigerator's full. Yeah. So many mothers might have heard that before. Mom, there's nothing to eat in the house. Oh my gosh. So there's times that you are just so hungry and you've got nothing that's going to really satisfy your hunger. Like, if we want pizza rolls, we'll be like, Mom, there's no pizza rolls. Can we please go buy some? Okay, so we have to keep buying food, right? Well, sometimes in our lives, our spirits, our spiritual, Self gets hungry. Hungry, hungry, hungry. And we might try to fill it with all sorts of different things. You know, uh, fast cars. Let's, let's try to fill it with, um, hmm, I don't know, candy. No, no, no. That's candy. not going to work. Yeah, candy. We try to fill it with, oh my gosh, there's so many things in the world we can fit it, fill it with. But there's only one thing that's going to, um, well, fill you. And that's Jesus. Because you see, God's put his spirit in you and you. Yeah, he's put his spirit in you too. Really? I'm not kidding. He actually believes me. The eyes were like, really? <laughs> we all have the spirit of God in us. And that spirit needs to be fed. <coughs> now, like I said, some people try to fill their spirit, fill themselves with things outside, you know, things of the world. Candy. But the only thing that's going to fill your spirit is, well, Jesus and reading God's Word. <gasps> Have you ever, like, read the Bible and all of a sudden you're just like, oh, I feel so much better now? Yes. Yeah? Especially when I was really tired, but I couldn't sleep at camp. Oh, so she was tired at camp and couldn't sleep, and she read God's Word, and that helped you go to sleep. That kind of filled you and made you feel better. Yes. Okay. So it's God's Word that fills us. So, we could try to fill ourselves with, you know, junk food, stuff of the world, or we could fill ourselves with good, wholesome food of the Spirit, which is God's Word. And guess what? As long as you're keeping God's Word, you'll never go hungry again. Okay? So, why don't you remember that? No one's like, really? God's Word, junk food. You have a choice. God's Word. You just, well, we all have a choice, and it's your choice to make. I can't make it for you. Only you can make it for yourself. So, can we say a prayer with one another for a moment? You ready to pray, Nolan? He's like, no, I'm ready to walk here. All right, come on now. All right, thank you. Dear God, we thank you that when we feel empty, that you will fill us. 
Forgive us for those times that we try to fill it with other stuff in the world, Lord. When the only thing that can fill it is you. Help us to stay close to you and continually filled by that living water and that living word. And it's through Jesus we pray. All of God's children say, Amen. Amen.